Hey guys, Gemma from ASD Rocks with Bo. And where are we going, Bo? Um, the doctors. We are going to the doctors. Why are we going to the doctor? So I can get a vaccination. So you can get a vaccination. Now, all your, um, all your class did it at school, didn't they? Yeah. So why didn't you do it at school? I, I probably wouldn't be able to handle it as well. Yeah? Mm. What, what, what part, what do you think? Okay, I don't. You don't know? No further than. You just wouldn't be able to handle it? Mm. Can't. Don't, if I name some things, do you, like, would it be the unfamiliar surrounding? Because it's not such an... It's school. Yeah. It would be a bit of that? I... Uh, yeah, well, no. no. No? Would it be other kids, because you're all lined up together, would it be other kids getting injections and maybe, because I know you're very emotional, would it be something about that? Uh, Being empathetic for them? Or me... I mean, that would mean another reason if I get over having the vaccination. Okay, so can you can you think at all of... Uh, you just feel uncomfortable, it's hard yeah. to explain. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, now, do you... So this is, I think it's your year 10 meninger cockle one, I can't remember, but they all got it last week, and every year at school when you all get vaccinations... I always write a note and take you to your doctor mm. and that makes you feel more comfortable mm. but the year seven ones is that the first vaccination you remember do you remember the first uh, one that you would remember I'm not talking yeah, about when I, you were babies yeah I'm pretty sure the year seven one was the first one I ever had. And Not why did you think of that? Well, I, I was really terrified. You were beyond terrified. You were hysterical. Mm. Um, you were screaming. Mm. We had to get people to, like, I had to get you to hug me, like, put your arms mm. around. I had to hold you down. And we had to get two, we had to get the doctor, who we love, and a nurse come in and do it do you think that was purely psychological for you because you were screaming before it started I mean it can't have been the pain of it you were well I mean I thought it was going to happen yeah really badly mm. um, and then afterwards you were still pretty traumatised weren't you yeah. So, since then, you've had a couple of different injections, not you know, for different reasons. Mm. And I tell you what, if anything has made people... Uh, which way do I want to go? If anything has made people get used to, especially kids get used to injections, it was certainly COVID, wasn't it? Yeah. You've probably, everyone's probably had more, more injections during COVID than ever before in their lives. Have you got any tips or tricks or anything that you can say that would help either a family? Like, what are the things that we do to help you get through? Why is that? Turn that off. What are the things that we do that help you get through it? Um, probably put on numbing cream. So we've got an awesome, there's a couple of creams that you can pick up just from the supermarket. Um, a supermarket, sorry, the chemist. One is called, oh, one's really basic, it's called Numb It. We've used that one and it's just a numbing cream and it's a topical cream and you just rub it on there. Whether it's placebo or not, we don't know. I don't think it is. It's definitely, like, there. But it does take a little while to to work, doesn't it? It's not like an immediate numbing. Mm. So we always have to make sure we put it on a little while beforehand. The other one's called Elma. 
Elmer is what they use uh, usually in hospitals for kids if they need to numb an area. But it takes usually about half an hour, 45 minutes to make that area numb. Uh, there's another little thing that we do as well, isn't there? Um. It's got to do with telling you or not telling you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we... I, I think I would, because if, if I'm told about it, I'd just be worried about it for the entire day. Yeah. Yeah, so, Bo prefers, now usually, which is really funny, because usually with autism, you never want to spring a surprise. You don't like surprises, right? Mm. Usually with autism what we call slow exposure and like warnings like five minutes till we go here ten we're going to be doing this today you like to know what's happening yeah but with this you don't want to be told you do not want to be told mm. days before or a day before you want to know either that night or in just before it's about to happen so that's for you to avoid the anxiety it causes mm. you, is that right? Yeah. Yeah? Now that you've had a little experience with a couple of different, we'll just say injections or needles, because it doesn't have to be vaccinations. There's a lot of different reasons people have injections or needles. I give blood. Mm. How do you feel about it now? Because we're on our way now. Are you fe how are you feeling? Um, slightly tense. Are you? Yeah, I'll, I'll admit that I'm feeling slightly tense, but I, but I know that it's not going to be the worst pain in the world. What's a pain that's worse? Can you think of one? A bee sting. Oh. I do know that. Yeah, that's a good one. What about when you tore your toenail off the to off your toe? Remember that? Do well, remember? I don't think I felt any pain. It was oh, more like... because you were stimming. That's why your pain senses are off. No, I, it wasn't... It wasn't even stimming. It, 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 I just didn't feel it, even when I was going through. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, but a bee sting is way worse than an injection. Yeah. Okay, good to know. So our little tactics are, number one. Um, put some numbing cream on. Yep. And uh, I'm not too sure if, if, you, if someone else prefers the other way around, that's completely fine. If someone wants to be no, then that's completely fine. That it's coming up. Yeah, yeah but you have to kind of, it's one of those hard things, isn't it? Because mm. you don't know until you've been through it whether you prefer to know it or not. So the first time is really hard. Yeah. The first, in Australia, the first sort of school vaccinations are around year seven, or are actually in year seven. Um, and Finn went off and he had his just fine the other day. Hey, what did you say? Do you remember you got your booster ages ago and you came back and I was like, how was it? Do you remember what you said? You like, uh, I think my right somatosensory cortex was on fire. No, no, that wasn't the last time. But yes, you did say that. Crack me up. I actually had to send that to your psychology teacher to ask her what you were saying <laughs> because... Um, because you've picked up so much biology, so much psychology, that you've actually, you've, your language has gotten to a point. No, uh, I'm talking about the most recent one where I said, how, how did it feel? And you were like, oh, oh, it wasn't, you said it wasn't. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, okay, okay. Do you remember uh, what you said? I. It wasn't as bad as you. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought, or I just didn't, maybe I just didn't feel it. Yeah, yeah, you were like, you came home, and I was, it was the time that I had COVID, when I had COVID, yeah. and I was supposed to go, but I couldn't, because I was dying in bed, um, and you went off, and you came back, and I was like, how was it, and you were like, you know what, it wasn't as bad, it, it re really, you know, 
wasn't it that bad? So something that's gone from being, you know, here's the problem as a mum, yeah? I may not tell you it's coming up, but I know it's coming up. Mm. And it freaks the crap out of me. Because I'm a mum and I want to protect my baby. And I know that you don't want it. And I know that you get anxious about it. And so I spend like a whole week just freaking out. When will I tell him? How do I tell him? What am I going to... How is he going to be? Is he going to be okay? But together, we've really done an amazing job to get to the point where right now we're on our way... We, we're going to the doctor. We've put your numbing cream on, so we've got heaps of time for it to work. Let this person through. Um, you're welcome. We've got heaps of time for it to work, and you're feeling a little tense, which compared to holding you down by three people, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like some sort of like world wrestling champion you know um, is that's a really big step I think you know and it's a big step in only a couple of years so I think you are doing amazing um, and to know that bee stings are way worse is a great what about someone who's never had a bee sting what do you what, what, oh. yeah what would be well I can tell them that they're lucky that's for sure <laughs> Totally, totally. It's true. It's true. And some people are allergic to bee stings too. Mm. So, you know, um, it would be way, way worse mm. <laughs> because that would be, you know, close to death. Um, so, yeah, well, thank you for that. I really appreciate it because we really want to help families, parents, grandparents, kids, everybody to be able to approach and do things. And obviously the things that work for you, like you said, they may not work for other people. Some people may want to know ahead of time. Some people may not. So until you've had that first vaccination, um, it was a good conversation to have with you where you say, no, don't tell me, I don't want to know. Just let me, just we'll turn up and you're like, oh, I'll freak out from then on. <laughs> All right, thanks buddy. ASD rocks.